is why I never get work done, you guys. Hey guys, it's Cameron. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk about my fitness journey, which has been a long way to video. You guys asked for it all the time. We're gonna go over what I have done for the past six years, five of it waist training, one year of it working out. So yeah, we're gonna get started. So first things first, obviously, of course, the thing that started it all off was waist training. I bought my first waist trainer off of Amazon. I'm not gonna go into depth about all that kind of stuff because I have a million videos about it. If you go to my playlist called Waist Training, you can watch all of them there. I started at a 28 inch waist. I had a very boxy shape and I did start at 15. I think because I started at an early age, it obviously helped me a little bit more, but it's not like I hadn't hit puberty yet or I was gonna suddenly transform into this hourglass shape even if I didn't use a waist trainer because if I don't use my waist trainer now, it will actually revert back very quickly. Waist trainers are not a permanent fix. They are literally a brace. It's just like getting braces. You have the braces for a little while and you take them off. You have to keep wearing the retainer to make sure that you um, keep your teeth in line and that's basically the same thing with waist training I started out with a 28 inch waist I am now I vary from like around 22 to 24 like I said if I'm not consistent with it it will just kind of go back the tiniest I ever got was 21 inches that was when I was at a very 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 small weight um, 21 was an amazing point in my life but I also had like no butt <laughs> so waist training did help me bring up my waistline in but that was pretty much just about it I waist trained for about three and a half years without ever touching the gym whatsoever so waist training will help you reduce your waistline but it's not going to help with anything else my biggest problem like even while waist training and everything was that I had no tonnage to my legs I had very very skinny chicken legs and I had no booty I have wider hips like wider kind of um, bone structure and like a fat flat pancake booty not a fat booty I wish I had a fat booty actually it always kind of gave off the illusion that I had a bigger butt but I just it was just pancake booty like there was just nothing there kind of had a very similar body shape to Taylor Katie I think is her Instagram after like waist training I kind of had like a bit of a better shape but I didn't have any kind of definition or anything to my body i was very thin i think at one point i had gotten down to about 112 pounds i could not put on weight for the love of my life so around my senior year i got down to like it was like a size i think it was like a size three in jeans it was like the tiniest i had ever been that was when around the time where i started to notice there was another girl that went to my school her name is nia i will put her instagram up i talk about her a lot in my videos because she is and was my number one inspiration to getting me into the gym i remember seeing her post on instagram kind of like her transformation i think she's been working out for about three years now so i remember her like talking about like oh my god this helped me put weight on and she has such a nice butt and her legs were so nice and i was like oh my god I just want to look like that. So that is when I started working out. as around my senior year, my middle of my senior year of high school. Like I said, I was around 112. Um, I also was on a vegan diet. I think because my vegan diet was so poor, I was pretty much just eating rice and beans every day. I got off of that and started eating meat and stuff. And that helped me put on about like 8 pounds. But it didn't help me put on a lot, a lot of weight till I really started to fix my diet and start eating more chicken and more lean meat and proteins and stuff like that to really put weight on. However, the thing that really, really spiked it up was when I got on birth control. Birth control helped me put on so much weight, you guys. Oh my God, I think I blew up like 10, 10 12 pounds when I took birth control. When I started working out, I had no idea what I was doing. I was going to the Y with my friend. We would go like once or twice a week, if even. I was just going there. I would do lunges a little bit. I would do some leg press. I would do the like hip abductions, some, you know, Smith machine. That was about it. And I had no idea about workout splits. I didn't know that you were supposed to not work out your legs every day. I didn't know you were supposed to work out your arms so you could do better in all your workouts overall. I just really had no freaking clue what the hell I was doing. I was just showing up to the gym and barely giving my all or doing anything. The weight gain literally was just from birth control and eating better 
and eating more often at that point I was eating around four or five meals a day I do have a whole video about how I gained weight so you can go check that out not being consistent in the gym and stuff like that I was there enough to kind of make a little bit of a difference because obviously when you're starting out with like a virgin body that's never really done anything and you're starting to lift weights a little like obviously you're gonna notice a difference but it wasn't anything mind-blowing or mind-changing like that when I moved for college um, last year that was when my fitness journey really began which was around last year year August it really all started when I bought the workouts by Katia gym based booty guide it was gifted to me um, just literally for my birthday because I wanted it so badly but I was like oh my god $60 like I'm not gonna buy it but if I had known what I know now about that guide you guys like I would have bought it for $150 this guide is life-changing especially if you are new to the gym have no idea what you're doing and I don't want anyone to be like oh she's saying this because she works with a company because I actually do work with a company now however I work with them in terms of promoting their clothing and I've been talking about this stuff for a really long time how much I love workouts by Katia's guide and stuff if you follow me on my workout page then you know that as you guys know I just like live breathe and eat and shit and sleep this guide and I have tried a lot of different guides this one is by far the best. It helped me stay really consistent because it does, it sends you the PDF like once, you'll get like week one, then the next week they'll email you the PDF number two. And it was like becoming a game for me and I had a lot of fun. And by the end of week eight, I had seen like immense progress. I did work out at my apartment gym. I didn't even have a gym membership. So the guide is pretty great for you even if you don't have like a whole bunch of equipment because actually I didn't have a lot of equipment there and I was always able to make do. However, once the eight weeks were over, I kind of fell back off again. For some reason, mentally in my mind, I did and think like oh just redo the guide I kind of just stopped I still had no idea about workout splits I had no idea really about knowledge I just used the guide and that was it I didn't really research anything about working out or anything at all so my mistake at that point in between was that I would sometimes go when I would train glutes like back to back and I would kind of do abs every once in a while and I just didn't have any idea about like how you were supposed to train and I way overworked my glutes and I was like oh my god why am I not seeing progress like I'm losing all the gains that I made while I was on Katya so I would kind of go back and do Katya one week and then I just didn't I was like mm, whatever I kind of want to do with something else and I just was so not educated at all which is really why I kind of plateaued at that point it was a little bit maybe about like two months after that that I was like okay I did not just bust my ass and like do this eight week guide of Katya's to just lose everything like I don't understand what's going on so I started researching more I went on YouTube I watched a whole bunch of Chrissy Sella um I watched Bren Contrera um I watched Annabelle I think it's Bellows I'm not sure but that's where I started to really get the scientific understanding of working out and just really like understanding what you need to do to train your body and to get it the strongest you possibly can. I obviously am still not perfect at everything. Like I said, I've only been working out for a year, but I always do try to, my best to educate myself properly. So that's where I started figuring out about workout splits. Um, I started figuring out about things that would better help me with my form, things that would better help me isolate my glutes. So I went and I purchased another i purchased two guides i purchased elizabeth Sachs guide and i purchased taylor katie's guide both fitness gurus i absolutely love i think they're incredible women however the guides did not work for me elizabeth Sachs, i never really got to try very much because it was kind of a little bit disorganized and wasn't put together in the way that i liked it so i kind of just gave up on that one taylor katie's guide i love the formatting of it it is beautifully put together but for some reason my body does not respond to it very well there's just too many reps or something or i don't know what it was but when i was doing it i really noticed the gains went down i don't know why i'm not exactly sure i think it was just too many reps so it was more so toning as opposed to building and i wasn't able to max out on my weight to really stress my body i was more so like okay i have to do like 15 reps of this or like 20 reps of this whereas opposed to now i like to work in the reps of like 10 5 or like if i am doing 20s i go like 20 and then i'll go 10 and then i'll go 15 but 
just wanted to mention that because not every guide is going to work for you perfectly. Katya to me seems to be the one that works the best for me because her guide does work in little short reps. So I'm able to use more weight and I'm able to stress out my muscles more. Talking about like the pyramid sets and overloading. So this is something I learned from Brent Contrera and Chrissy Sella a lot is just pyramid sets and overloading is so important. For me, I realized I don't push myself hard enough in the gym. That was why I was always noticing I wasn't getting enough progress. Pyramid sets basically allow you to do that. You start out with a lighter weight and then you build yourself up and you max out. When it gets the lowest number, that's your highest weight. You are always going to want to stress your body out to the max. Muscles grow by tearing, so you have to just push yourself. So another thing that I figured out as well watching um, a lot of the fitness gurus is that I am quad dominant. Prior to researching and stuff like that, I had no idea about glute warm-ups. No one talks about it in their guides. Barely anyone ever talks about it on Instagram and I had no idea that warming up your glutes was a very important thing, especially if you are quad dominant. My quads like to take over. My glutes do not like to work whatsoever. Our glutes are the least worked muscle in our body. We're always sitting on them. There's never really any reason for them to be used and for me, Glute activation is, oh my god, like it was literally life-changing when I figured out to do that. I was like, holy oh shit, why have I never done this before? Like, I do about three or four workouts, um, and I do use my resistance band that I have as well. I have a waist trainer. I didn't even talk about that, that I have waist trainers, but yeah. Um, you guys can find the resistance bands and the waist trainer that I use on kwhitshop.com. That resistance band, y'all, is freaking killer. I also as well noticed that even with doing that, sometimes my glutes kind of like relax halfway through the workout so I will go back in and do glute activation once more. I stopped doing hip thrust because I was getting these nasty bruises on my hips and I hated it and I was like oh my god I know this is making such a big difference for me but I hate them. I had maxed out at like the 80 pounds that with those like little tiny barbell thingies and I just was too scared to move on to doing like the big barbell like the free weight barbell and I stopped doing hip thrusts and that's where I noticed a big decline in my body as well do your hip thrusts please do your hip thrusts I stopped using the little pad thing because the pad thing was not enough I got rid of the pad thing and I only use a mat that has basically helped me with the bruising and everything so if that's one of your issues just ditch the little pad thing and use the mat um as well brent contrera has very detailed videos about hip thrust i am still working on my form it is a very hard exercise for me to perfect but i have gotten better and i've noticed the better my form is the more progress i make with that but please ladies do not skip on the hip thrust if you're trying to get the booty to grow hip thrusts are so freaking important. The other thing, the last thing I really want to talk about is cardio. So a lot of people don't really talk about cardio at all because cardio is like a, nobody really cares about cardio because most of us don't want to do it. Um, I was doing HIIT workouts twice a week and that was very, very hard on my body because I was doing legs three times a week and then I was doing HIIT workouts, which if you don't know what HIIT workouts are, they are high intensity interval training. HIIT workouts are very, very good if you're trying to maintain muscle and not lose so much weight. However, you can overdo it because it's using so much of your like leg muscles. Like, you're not giving yourself a break. Like if you're doing legs and then you're doing hit and then you're doing legs and then you're doing hit like how I was, it's just going to be way too much on your body. So I do one extreme hit like once a week, that's it. And then the other days I do like light cardio, which could just be like walking on a treadmill for 30 minutes or some Stairmaster or something. Give your glutes time to heal. That was the number one thing that I needed to learn. Overworking it does not help. You will in fact not give your body enough time to tear and grow back together and then you're not even growing your glutes at that point. Just understand that working out is a process. Like I've been at it for a year and sometimes I get discouraged all the time. I look at myself, I'm like, oh my god, my butt is nowhere near as big as this girl. Like she's so much like her body's so much better. I think the number one thing I had to realize was that I don't have a butt fold. Like I don't know if you guys know what it is, but a butt fold is like that little crease, that booty crease. That thing makes everyone's butt look 10 times bigger and I don't have that. That's just how things are. Like I had to learn to stop comparing my body to other people and just get on my own journey. And I take progress pictures every week and that's what I compare myself to. I compare myself to myself. And that's where you're gonna notice the biggest difference and the most happiness because you're compare yourself to yourself and that's what you can achieve. Very easy to give up on this journey because it is such a long one. You have to love your body at the times where you're not happiest with it and at the times where you are happiest with it. I have a while to go, but <laughs> I'm excited for it. 
hopefully we'll do another one of these videos next year and we'll kind of talk about what's really worked and what's not but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time make sure to go check out kwhiteshop.com to shop all of your waist trainers and resistance bands i have a bundle deal where if you buy a waist trainer and a resistance band get 10 percent off so go check that out but i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye making money like a man. Making